Hello friends, this video on polymers part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fears on exam. The third, the second way I told to classify the polymers was based on the structure, how they look, how they behave, not the behave, how they look. So based on their look, we classify them as linear, branched and crossed, the way they look, based on their look, okay. If you talk about the linear Polymer, these polymer consist of long and straight chains. For example, if you think of this, they are long and straight chains. Okay. And they are high density. For example, PVC. This is this is what? This is vinyl chloride. And from this you get PVC, polyvinyl chloride after polymerization. Okay, even polythene. Uh, polythene, if you see high density polythene, not in, not talking about the low density polythene. So if you see this is the structure they have, for example, CH2, CH2. They have long chain. There are more chains like that. And since these chains are not binded by a new force of attraction, they are the soft. You see, they are long chains. Okay, so they are called linear structure. Okay, long chain, and that's why we are linear. It's more like a chain, long, long chains of these polymers, and that is how they look. The second is the branch chain. So these polymer contain the linear chain but they have some branch. An example is glycogen. You see this glycogen, this has the long chain. If you see the glycogen, the the long chain here. But there are some branch. Maybe this will be a long chain here. But then we have a few branches. You see here, this is a long chain. It's a long chain, right? Long chain. Long chain. But some branch. Okay? This is long chain with some branch is called branch. For example, this is long chain, even more long chain. Maybe some branch here, some branch here, like this. Glycogen and other can be a low density polymer. Now, if you see, I am talking about glycogen and the low density polymer. If you draw from the source perspective, glycogen is natural poly uh, polymer and lower density polythene is artificial or synthetic. So, a given polymer you can actually classify from the source perspective. The low density polythene is a synthetic polymer and the glycogen is a natural polymer from the structure perspective. Both these are the branch chain. Okay. The next type of polymer is called cross-linked. And these are a little hard. For example, the bakelite. This is bakelite here. This is melamine. That is used to make the plates that are non-breakable. This is bakelite. Now, these two are Example of the cross link polymer. So, in this, they are again formed by the bifunctional and the trifunctional monomers, and they have very strong covalent bond. Covalent bond between the various linear polymers. You see, they are all cross linked. There is a link here, there is a link here, there is a link here. See, there are so many links. It is like a zigzag. It's like a zigzag. These are all linked that here. Yeah, something like this. All these are. Since they are zigzagging, they are cross link Once formed, it is difficult to recreate it. I mean, I mean you, you can't reuse it. If you want to uh, melt this melamine and reuse it, it is not possible. But with polythene, if you melt it and if you want to reuse it, it is possible. Because it's totally cross link It is totally cross and they, well, they are very hard. And a good example is melamine and bakelite. They're very, very hard. Okay. 
same now if you talk about uh, the, the source of these based on the source we want to classify melamine so melamine and bakelite both are uh, synthetic they are synthetic one okay so given a polymer you can think you can think from the source perspective you can think from the structure perspective okay thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attend free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again